Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm going to be hitting up No Man's Sky on my PC save. Yes, so there it is, right there behind me. And uh, we're going to be continuing on with the Artemis quest line, even though we didn't save Artemis, we uh, sort of just let them die. Anyway, so let's just jump on over into game and let's start playing, shall we, people? Okay, okay, right out. So now I need to get into my old shippity ship and press on on with this mission. So we've got it there selected. And it says find the cartographer aboard the space station. Why? Uh, I, I really don't remember this. Right, well, let's take to the skies then, people, shall we? Heck yes. Fly on up, up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. And Viking cartographer is over there, apparently. Lovely jobs. It must be a Viking system then. Luck be had it. Right, eh? well, hopefully we're going to arrive at the space station sometime today. Yeah, another seven seconds. I see you at the actual cartographer. Right, so we've arrived located in the station. Oh, don't know what happened there. The computer just threw a little skitsy wibble. Okay, right, let's head on over to here then. And here we have the cartographer. Hello there, cartographer. Brilliant, eh? Let's hit this up. And let's have a little word with the cartographer. Pray Viking law. Why the fudge not? Might as well get into it, people, man, we? What they got? As the warrior begins their bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of nulls glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly the Viking's words ring clear in my ear. Gra, pathetic interloper. Great. I didn't need to hear this, actually, did I? Prying into the Viking's secrets, cowardly spy. I should kill Gra. But Traveller must be aided. Such is the command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Commune with their words. Gra. Okay. All right. Fine. Um, that was a conversation I didn't really need to have. Okay, right. Let's... um. Head on out then. It looks like that we've got a marker that's sort of behind this station right now. So we'll be heading there, people inside the view of us. Riveting episode of talking to Vikings. Grab areas and snoz berries and snoz wanglers and snoz doodles or whatever. Yeah. I'm really hoping in the new Wonka movie we might have seen the vicious knits and snoz wanglers and things like that you know that's where that reference comes from anyway it's gonna take me 30 seconds to get here so rather than me talk fluff i'll just see you when i get there okay jumps well the reason my pc sort of done something weird is it's installing some alienware command center is what it's saying great we're back on this planet now full of freaking weird crab things have i arrived at my destination no chance be had it. I have in Deedy Doody. This was the only building that was close to where the approximate location was. So I just thought I'd chance it on the off. And yeah, it seems to have paid off, people. Right, so we've got to go talk to this giant Toblerone type looking thing. Hello there. Right on. The noble traveller will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. Just hope this Alienware sort of install doesn't restart my machine. Okay, here we go then. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment. The belief of the ancients. Ancient knowledge passed down through the generations of Viking warriors. Spills from the marker stone, filtering into my mind like a long forgotten memory. Speak in Viking. I begin to speak and my voice is seized by an unknown power. I roar, taking myself by surprise. Rawr. Sweet. None hamper the path towards Dying Da. As the Sentinels, they must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. Cool, yeah. So it has been written. Show it, show, so it shall come to be. This, the Vikings swear. Okay. Right, hold on one second, people. This install's gone a bit weird. There we go. It's actually finished now. Speaking Viking! I call out once more. My throat is harsh and gasping. The sound guttural. The word spills forth. Summoned by the power of the monolith. 
The Book of Her speaks of the rise of travellers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. Is, is this is this is this law always been there? I hope we do get to go into the void. The Viking shall not impede their accent, for the traveller must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. Sweet, I'm starting to like Herc a lot more. Who was the other one? There was Herc and there was um, Nal. N-A-L, not Null. Nal or something. Anyway, as the words fade, their lines still resonate in my vision. I find myself in possession of an ancient tome. Sweet! I got a new ancient tome tablet! Sweet! Awesome! Learned of the Vikings such as me, I am. Lovely jubbly! Almost sounded a bit freaking Yoderish, didn't it, there? Return the Viking artifact to the cartographer. I think I'd rather keep it, funny enough. Let's have a quick look at it. Where is this Viking tome? Probably on the inside of my exosuit. Oh, great. This is going to take me a, a month for Sundays to find it, isn't it? Well, it's somewhere amongst all my freaking shite, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh, okay. A stone tablet bearing the line after line of inaccurate runes. Why? Intricate. Intricate runes, not inaccurate. The words are intelligible. An ancient dialect forgotten by all but the oldest of Viking elders. The hand that carved this stone must have been extraordinary. The stonework is precise, delicate, and yet perfectly conveys the unyielding aggression in its writers clearly possessed. Frickin' lovely. All right, OK, well, we're going to go give that away. Sod that. It's a frickin' relic. It's probably priceless. I should be keeping this. Hmm, part of me says, duplicate the fudge out of it, Captain. But no, I better just go and give it back to the rightful owner. Okay. Nearby object of interest detected. Really? Ah, so just don't mess with them, people. If you shoot anything in there, a load of pirates turn up and shoot you back. Freaking crazy stuff. Anyway, over to the station we go. I see you back up by the cartographer, people in the viewerverse. Okay, people. Right, well, I'm I'm back by this uh, cartographer chap here. I guess I have lovely jobs. Anyway, let's go and see him. Hopefully he's got something nicer to say, rather than call me pathetic interloper. Null wished for me to visit the Viking and learn what I could of the Atlas, the creator of the universe, the Sentinels' rebellious hunters of anomalies, and the travellers who committed some unforgivable act long ago. All right. Reveal the tablet. Here you go. Gra, you have communed with Herg. You are worthy, interloper. Make your request. Be bold. Ask about the Atlas. Ask about the Sentinels. Ask about the Travellers. I want to know what evil act we did. Gra, the Travellers must be aided. The Traveller must prevail. Ask what this means. They repeat these words as if they have, if they have not heard me. Okay, um, all right, fine. Tell me about the Atlas then. Gra, do not speak that name. Only pathetic beings worship liar Atlas. Ask why it is a liar. Any being that claims to be a god is not one interloper. Prognator Herc knew this well. Battle brother Nal did not. Yes, Nal was a follower of Herc. They died for a false dream. The Viking tells me of their history of wars with the Gek, the Korvax, the slaves of the tyrannical empire. The Viking suggests that the Atlas is God. Then it is insane. Okay. I'm about to leave when I notice something on the Viking's terminal. Two digits blinking endlessly. They feel familiar. Ask about 16. Ooh, this is going to upset him. I can gra. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. What, what, interloper, what face are? The Viking is visibly pained by my mention of the number, staring at the terminal as if they've seen it for the first time. Their words slur, a strange sound entering in every sentence. Mm, some sort of corruption there, people. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I would love to stay and chat, but um, you're not the most conversationalist, are you, really? I mean, let's face it. Right, anyhow, pressing on. 
You know what I could do, people? I could run the weekend mission and get some Quicksilver. How much Quicksilver do I actually own right now? 930 Quicksilver. I could treat myself to a quick weekend mission. Hmm. Because next we're going to be talking to some Corvax anyway. So, yeah, why the fudge not? Let, let's do a... Let's just interject this quickly. Let's go into the old Nexus, because we've got to anyway, because I've got to go and speak to Nada, apparently. And then after I speak to Nile, uh, Nada, I think I'm going to run the weekend mission. Uh, myself a little bit of Quicksilver, why I can. Might as well, people. Anyway, I'll see you up by Nada. Okay, now, telling Nada about the Viking is, is kind of like sucking eggs, isn't it? it, it, it he's going to know this already. Hello there, mate. Oh, wise one. Life is everywhere, but nowhere. The Convergence has seen all planets. But where are they really? Okay. Where is home? Where is safe? This is a pattern, traveller friend. All things are patterns. Signs of the Atlas falsity. Okay. Mm, fine. Ask about null. Missing entity speaks to many others, many travellers. Such as it has always been. There is patterns, and there always is. Nada does not control these actions of traveller entities. You must make your own choices. I, is, is, I was supposed to talk to you about the Viking. Okay, alright. Nada cannot witness Atlas falsity, but others in our small convergence can. Nada could understand Atlas false entity if Nada chooses to. Nada does not. Okay, Nada, talking about yourself in the third person much? Okay, right. I am off. Ha-ha! To do the weekend mission, I guess. What is the weekend mission this week? It's eliminate hazardous flora. Let's go do that then. Initialize mission. And yeah, we'll start that mission. So yeah, if you've never run a weekend mission, you get a lot more Quicksilver for doing it. It's simple, it's easy, and it's fun. Well, normally they are. I mean, when you first start doing them, they are. But after you've done them for like three years without change, just a rotation and repetition, it comes a little bit tedious. Anyway, let's fly on down. Let's take out these hazardous floras, people. These evil plants of evilness. Okay, chums. Well, I've been inside of this warp animation now for about eight minutes. Eight minutes of this warp animation. And I think my game might be stuck. Now, the amount of time it takes me to log into No Man's Sky on the PC is freaking phenomenal. It's well over eight minutes. But maybe running the weekend mission was not a good idea. Fun times. Every bug procedural. Okay, chums, well, I logged completely out. Logged all the way back in again. We're going to attempt to do the weekend mission... But one more time, and we'll see how we get on this time. Is the second time going to be the lucky time? We shall see, people. Okay, this time I'm not going to cut away. I'm not going to click off of No Man's Sky to stop the recording on Streamlabs. So you're going to see how long it takes normally for me to load into a system. I'm wondering whether clicking over to Streamlabs to stop the video, cutting away from the game, caused this not to actually load in, is what I'm thinking. But anyway, again. I put on some music. Oh, well, there we go. We've made it. That must be what the cause was. Perhaps it was the fact that I cut away. Okay, right. Which planet's got these hazardous plants on it? Where have I got to be doing my gardening? Let me know. Okay. Any time now? Yep. Give us the uh, flora type marking. And it's... It's got to be somewhere. What the fudge is it? Where's my... Oh, that, okay. It's all the way around behind me, is it? Fair enough. We're going there. Hazardous flora detected. It's locked onto a base that says main emerald base. Nice, an emerald base, you say. Very cool. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to the fallen traveller, people. Okay, Jums, well, I've arrived, Kate. I guess I have. Let's head on over then. Let's go interact with this thing. Well, how do? Snagged around the ankles, piercing thorns, completely unaware. We reduced in numbers, but... 
The fallen traveller's log seemed to mention the floral infestation, but the hole's no further clears. Okay, right. Let's let's do this then. Let's go and zap eleven hazardous florals. Is there any in close proximity? Oh, there's one just right there. Let's go get him. Oh no, I used the terrain manipulator. That doesn't count. All right. There's one over here apparently. Oh, there it is up there. I see it. Let's go get him. Let's get him. Yeah. Let's just test that I'm not using the wrong weapon. I'm going to use the runic lens. Take that, you! Boom! You're gone. That's one hazardous flora to me. Any more for any more? Oh, great. Signal's too weak. All right, well, I'm just going to go off on my own little jaunt and look for these things. I can see one right there with my eye peepers. I don't know why that didn't show up on the freaking radar a moment ago. And I can see another one down there to the left. All right, let's zap this one. Signal too weak. You know what? I should use my freaking eyes to spot them. You know? There you go. That's another one there. Zappity doo da, zappity day. I oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine in my way. I'm not going to even use the sweep scanner. Right, let's go this way. I mean, I will, but not right now. I'll go over this way a little bit further, see if we can spot any more of my eye peepers. As things are rendering, maybe the sweep scanner is having trouble seeing them because it's not rendering as fast as I'd like. Maybe I need to do a restart after installing that server thing. Who freaking knows? Oh, look, there's a shed load of them now. I went right past one. Well, it is hard to see them on these sort of gradiented planets. What the fudge? Oh, my days. That's a freaking mushroom and a half, isn't it? Apparently, I went right past another one. No. Really? Yeah, apparently so. I was looking for pumpy ones. I wasn't really looking for the Venus flytrappy ones. I'm, sh I'm sure there was two others. I thought, I'm sure I picked up four as I was just over here. We carry on going this way. Now, oh, it, it, it was flashed up with red for a split second there and then went. Okay, well, we'll head over this way. Any more for any more? There's one right over there. Okay, let's go get him. Okay, sweep scanner is working. Kind of. In a roundabout way. So that! Hiya! I'm on six of eleven now, people. One more over the yonder hill. So! As I leap into action, I can freaking. Ah, you bit me! You freaking bit me! I'm gonna need a plaster on that, you freaking git. Probably have to renew my TB. My tetanus jab. Yeah, there we go. Zap! Okay, we'll head on over this hill, I think, people. Over this hillock. Here we go. Meow. Like Superman, but shitter. Heck yes. Like a speeding bullet or a runaway freight train. Oh, yeah. The powers of Super Steve. Super Steve! Heck yes. I thought that was a pumpy plant down there. No, it's just a rock with red lumps on it. Dang it! Oh, hello. There's a dinosaur-type looking git down there. hi Dinosaur-looking git! Death from above! Yes! I melee you! I melee you again! And again! Yeah, you want some? You've got a battle right now, my friend! Ah! Help! He's pushing me off the map, people! Right, okay. We'll stop doing that. I just saw a pumpy plant right there. Zap! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry! Dead! Well, he's not, actually. That's okay. I will stop killing the wildlife, people. All right, let's have a look around. Too weak. Okay, too weak a signal. We we'll head this way! Should really head towards... I'll head back towards my ship. It was a freaking trek and a half to get to my ship. Hopefully, by the time I reach my ship, I would have killed all of the hazardous flora. Now, when I was near my ship, anyway, as soon as I jumped out my ship, I saw a couple of hazardous flora right by it. So I know there's some over this mountain range. Yes. And it was quite a mountainous range, I'm telling you, to get to where I needed to get to from my ship. It took me freaking ages. Okay, I tried digging through a mountain. That didn't do too well. I hit bedrock, like in a vertical plane. 
freaking weird. Oh, look at this. There's loads of hazardous floors there. There's three or four. One, two. Buckle my shoe. There's two more right there. Look. Ah, he bit me. I don't know how he bit me, but he freaking bit me from like two, ten yards away. All right, okay. Well, let's just call him my ship just in case I get bit by anything else. I don't like the black and white worlds, people. Has to be said. But at least I still look nice and red and groovy, baby. I think I think my ship's just got stuck in a freaking mushroom. Yeah. I think I caught it down in the wrong place. Right. Um. Well, it, none of no, it's not flat anywhere around here. Let's try uh, calling it in there. All right. Go on, land. There we go. Super califragilistic expialidocious, and if you say it loud enough, it could be quite atrocious. Super califragilistic expialidocious. I guess. Take to the skies, cool in the space anomaly, hand in the mission, get the quicksilver. Jobs are good. I mean, this didn't go as swimmingly well as that, did it? It wasn't really super califragilistic expialidocious, because you saw I got stuck in the warp animation the first time I tried. But I'm going to blame a multitude of things. One, I had to install some sort of Alienware, I don't know, server gadget thing for my laptop. And two, I had to sort of pause my streaming for a second over on Streamlabs. And then when I cut back over... I was stuck in some sort of real weird loading loop. So maybe it was my own fault, people. There we go. Uh, we're out of the here. But then again, I do make quite a lot of excuses for No Man's Sky and its, its ever procedurally generated bug or features. Okay, let's head on over here then. And let's go and claim my Quicksilver! I, I do love this game, people. Complete mission. I nearly exited mission then. I hovered over the wrong button, didn't I? Okay, Ooh, brilliant. We got a factory override. Bro, I've never used one, to be fair. Never used a factory override. I bought all the stuff inside of the old Nexus, so don't need to. Okay, right, well, I'll jump out of the ship just to create a little autosave. But um, should we carry on with the Corvax system galactic map thing that we're on right now? Patterns in the past. I guess we could do that, couldn't we? And we need to do the Atlas path. I want to get this one done, this Patterns in Time. Once that's done, then get on to the Atlas path. So here we go. Let's fly now then. We've got to go to a Corvax system. Easy peasy a lemon squeezy. Okay, it's warping me back across the system now from where I was before I started the weekend mission. Let's just hope we can get through this warp animation. You know what? I'll play some more music. Okay, and here I am, standing at a bus stop wishing I was somewhere else. Okay, okay right, well, we're in a callback. Oh, no, we're not in the callback system yet. We've got to jump to one yet. Okay, here we go. Chickaboom. And we're off. Okay, more music. See what I mean about these loading times, people. But at least you've got some lovely music. That's actually my theme tune to my channel. It's called Beautiful Day. It's by Share Factory from the old PlayStation era of Share Factory. 
Ah, I don't know who the original singer is. I really wish I knew. A freaking awesome little tune, that lovely little ditty. Right, well, let's head on in and we've got to speak to a Corvax cartographer. I think you know what's going to happen next, people. We're probably going to have to go and speak to a Gek one. But I'd imagine we're going to be learning some sort of past events of the Corvax. And you know what, people? I think we've probably got enough footage here for one episode of Captain Steve and my magical musical adventure. Say magical musical adventure. I mean, there's been quite a lot of music in this episode, hasn't there? There has, haven't there, people? Yes. Well, yes, hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, I also run the weekend mission, which I wouldn't normally do in one of these, but it's all part and parcel of fun, isn't it? And let's face it, we've had some fun. And now we've got 2,880 Quicksilver. Lovely jubbly. I could have spent that while I was in the Nexus. Maybe I'll do that next episode, people. Until then, have a good one. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Well, chums, hopefully you enjoyed that lovely episode of me gallivanting around in space. Not doing all too much, apart from talking to Viking and actually talking like a Viking. Freaking weirdness, wasn't it? And that lovely little tablet that we found. We also ran the weekend mission. Nice, got some quicksilver. We got there in the end. It took a little while. But anyways, see all these people up here scrolling along? Scrolling along like that? That's my Patreon subscribers. I've opened up a new tier on Patreon right now. I'm trying to raise funds to build myself a fantangly awesome PC. I have changed some of the build specs alongside my stepson. And we're going to be doing this as like a father-son project. And uh, yeah, we're going for a new tower case. It's got a nice wood finish to the outside. It looks freaking lovely. Anyways, those that have already signed up for that Patreon tier will be getting 3D print models after they've supported me on that tier for about eight months. And yeah, those people are these people right here so thank you very much thank you and uh, what they'll be getting is like a little 3d print model like of a little mini ship and a um oh an atlas card stand i should really have them here shouldn't i one second i go grab them Righto, here we go. So this is the Atlas card, and you can see there it's actually got one of the runner ships grafted to it. But I do give another Atlas card, which hasn't got a ship gra grafted onto it. And they come with a nice little stand. It does say Meetup 2024 on it. Because, yeah, what I'm going to do is take a load of these to the Meetup. And any that are left, they're the one I'm going to be giving out to the actual people that support me on this sort of tier. Now, there is a kit where you can glue one of your own ships like this together. Freaking awesome, isn't it? A little collector sort of alpha vector there. Very nice little thing to have. Yeah, just glue it together yourself. But yeah, that's, that's what comes with back in that tier. So there you go, go check it out over on Patreon. Links will be inside of my actual links page from my channel area. Yeah, you'll be able to find it. Also, I'll put them inside of the video description. Till next time, people. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do like and share the video. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.